to castle. We're going to go to castle. We're going to go to a place called Leeds Castle today, um, which is obviously pretty much what it says. It's a castle, so there's quite a bit to do there. Hopefully the weather holds up because there will be some incredible footage there um, that we can get if the weather holds up. It has rained all night. We've woken up this morning and there's already people on the beach. That's the joys of living next to a beach. So. Where are we? That is the question. So we've ended up somewhere else. Um, basically, the castle we were going to go to, supposedly, has works going on at the, uh, at the place. And loads of the attractions there are closed. So we didn't want to go there, pay, pay for it, and, and see hardly any of the stuff. So we are we're taking a detour. I don't really know where we're going um, at this moment in time. But we're just going to drive around. We're going to go to a few stops and see if we can get some see some cool stuff, get some cool shots and uh, have a little look around the countryside, of, uh, not countryside, the seaside um, of England. So, stop one, St Augustine's Trail. So we're just heading out to uh, the Viking ship now. Now, as I said, I mentioned there will be a little bit of a story behind the Viking ship. Um, and if you grew up in Britain in the 90s, you may remember a program called Art Attack. This is an Art Attack? This is an Art Attack? This is Art Attack! <laughs> guy called Neil Buchanan who unfortunately is no longer in the world of living but he used to have a show called Art Attack and most kids as I say in Britain will remember this and it was the kind of program like Blue Peter where you have to save up 700 washing up bottles, 27,000 pipe cleaners, 6 million plasters and you would make you know like a, a bookmark out of them so that was the program but a particular section of the program he used to do um, his big art attack where he would come to a big open area and would use like 10 billion pieces of fabric and produce a huge piece of art um, and this was actually one of the places that he went to the Viking ship and this big open field that we're walking along now was where he uh, made a replica image of the Viking ship so I'll try and get a picture of it and I'll overlay it to the video as well so you can see what I'm talking about So we're at stop two now, and we've come to a place just outside a deal called Bet Hanger. Is it called Bet Hanger? Is it called Bet Hanger? I think it's called Bet Hanger. It's like a national park with a cycle path and a footpath and a play area and just a big open national park, really. Um, we're definitely going to come back here again and, and hire bikes as well. It's pretty cheap to do so. Get the GoPro on there and it goes off road pretty quick as well, I believe. So, you can get some good footage of that. So, yeah, stop two. Betanger National Park outside Deal. So I'm at full zoom, but that that block of houses or flats over there is where we live. Well, not in that actual block, but about two miles just outside. 
that block, so put it in perspective. So I'm out here in this national park, just checking in, of course, and uh, I'm out here doing my David Dattenbrush shit in this situation. You know, I'm trying to find wild bee pollinating plants and ants building a mound and rabbits and all kinds of stuff. And I believe to I couldn't care less about anything. I couldn't care about nature. They're talking about beating each other up. So we're, this weather is so strange today, I'm just checking it, we're still at this national park but it's raining but it's like super humid, it's so hot, um, so it's a really really strange weather today but awesome, awesome place and some great, great, great things that you can do here, it's a great cycle path. So we're going into the Badger's Mount, look how big these motherfuckers must be, taking these fences down there, everything. I'm guessing because it's raining we're probably not going to see anything but... It's always worth a try, right? Right? Don't have to back <gasps> me down. What does she do? Splash me! Look at my hair, man. Going on. So it started picking up with rain quite heavily, and the walk back was a lot longer than the walk out there seemed to be. So just got back to the car, still absolutely roasting. So I just quickly managed to grab a couple of seconds on my own out in this national park. They've walked off, and I just want to take this opportunity to obviously thank you guys for your recent. Um, words of encouragement on vlogs and um, positive words it means a lot thank you very much guys and you know I'm just doing what I do and I'm enjoying what I do so do you think I get to take a shot obviously I'll, uh, I'll be filming it so thanks again guys it means a lot Woodland. <laughs> 